it's metal. Now then, the laser. Now this is my personal laser, so it doesn't have any interlocks on it. Now this is a 100 watt tube. Now I, some of you will notice there's a bit, bit of paper in there. Well, it's there for a good reason. If you look into the center of the tube, you will see that there is a pinkish color. This is the signs of an, a top grade laser tube. That pinkness inside the laser tube is a flashing of gold. That gold is a catalyst which, should we say, preserves the life of the laser. Because when a laser is made and it, people start to use it, it is dying. It has a lifespan. The lifespan of this particular laser from Reki is 10,000 hours. Now then, here we go. I'm going to explain now about the output of lasers. If you notice here, it says oh, power output right, of 100 watts. It will sustain 100 watts without injury. <laughs> I'll talk to you more about that uh, in the future. Peak power, power output on test, 119 watts. Now then, this is a very, very good make. It is the best make in, uh, out of China and really around the world. It's a very respected name, Reki. This tube is nearly a thousand dollars worth. It is the heart of the machine. While we're on the subject of laser tubes themselves, um, I'm sure there's a lot of you out there have come to the realization that when you buy uh, a machine from eBay or anywhere else and you have it delivered, you replace that tube in six months or less. Now, when you buy a machine, um, unfortunately, should we say it's 95% of the machines sold on eBay, um, they're oversold. And what I mean by that is they might be advertised as a, a 60 or an 80 watt laser. If you notice the peak output says 119 on this. You can't run this labor laser tube at 119 watts because you will kill the tube. Because what you are doing is what they call overdriving the tube. Um, and a lot of the manufacturers, as I was just saying, they sell their machines on the peak output of the tube. So if you buy a machine with a 60 watt tube in, uh, it may, when it was new, produce 60 watts peak output, but in fact, it's an actual, you know, it's a 45 or 46 watt tube. So a lot of the guys, they start using their laser machine and they run it at a 100% output and they're killing their tube. That's why it doesn't last even six months. And the reason for that is the gas, there's, there's many different gases inside here. They call it a CO2 uh, gas uh, laser, but in fact, there's uh, other gases in there. And what happens is that if you 
operate at a high, operate at a very very high output, higher than its maximum normal output. Uh, what happens with the CO2 gas is it breaks down into uh, its separate elements, carbon and oxygen, and it doesn't recombine. Now, that is what the gold catalyst is for inside the center of this tube. That catalyst helps the oxygen and carbon recombine to CO2 to prolong the life of the tube. But still, you cannot run this tube at 119 watts. Now, we will go into more detail about the percentage output versus the actual output uh, of these tubes um, in a later video. may touch on it later on in this uh, video, but it is not a linear scale. This is the most important item. This is an active charcoal filter. It does a number of jobs. This unit here is the most important unit of the whole system. If you buy a laser, you must buy one of these. This is an active charcoal filter. There are four sets of filters in here. One of them is active charcoal. Why do you need this? Two reasons. A laser operates at upwards of 5,000 degrees C. That is the temperature of the actual pinpoint or hair of light that comes out of the end of that nozzle to cut or etch or engrave material. It evaporates the material that it comes into contact with. That means it turns it to gas. If you don't have a filtration system and you breathe that in, there's a high possibility that you will get cancer. Be warned, it's a fact, it's a proven fact. Lasers, these lasers, are not a toy. It is an absolute requirement that you have, if you buy a laser, that you buy one of these. I can't force you to, but I think you can tell by the tone of my voice that it is absolutely necessary. If you, if you are cutting or etching um, materials like ply, or MDF or plastic, when these substances are turned to gas, the fumes are highly toxic to human. So be warned. 